Hi everyone, welcome back to MindDisk. Today we're going to go over point clouds using an existing 3D scan of a space. In this case, it's the tech shop in San Francisco. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a box and start by creating the tabletop of the workspace here. The point clouds allow you to snap exactly to the existing geometry. Next I'll make the leg of the corner piece, copy it over, and then selecting the, both of those, copy that over. Another thing that's really helpful when creating an existing space that's scanned in is the structure. So here you'll see these joists that I'm going to remodel right now just by tracing them. And they look like they're about 18 to 12 inches on center. So just by modeling the first one, I can go ahead and copy the rest. So I'm going to speed up the, the film here. And it's that quick. Sometimes it's a lot faster to manually model something this straightforward rather than putting it into Grasshopper. And speaking of Grasshopper, in this case, there's a really good application for where it's very useful, that being the exhaust system within the shop. It's basically a three-dimensional pipe that's going to be a lot easier to model in VR space rather than in 2D. So using a Grasshopper definition that picks up curves only, I'm going to go ahead and create a pipe that by selecting the button, on the grasshopper script, whatever I model after it's actually completed will create the actual geometry. So in this case, again, I'll make sure to keep on my point snaps for the point cloud, and I'll begin modeling the curve between the beginning of the table saw right here, and go vertically up to the rafters, of which will from then go across to the back. And notice once I finish the actual curve, the geometry both in my desk appears and in the model space with the red grasshopper preview, which is parametrically linked to definition. So when I bring this up, everything adjusts and live updates. And again, using the same curve, the grasshopper will pick up this line and create a pipe from it using the axes built into Mind Desk. It's really simple to go from X to Y to Z in 3D space, which is really harnessing the power of the VR. Thanks again, everyone, and stay tuned for more Mind Desk projects soon to come.